Good morning, Max. Max? Mil milk. What? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. S stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I, I guess. Nick, Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties. What? what? You don't think I should fly, do you? What? You know, you've got to make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. No, 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 no. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It, it just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweeties. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying fabulously from in from above. One glimpse of that and everyone in the room will be on your side. Mmm, I doubt that. No one needs to fly today. Nick? What's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. <laughs> What? Your Honor, get on with it. Oh, sorry. I just realized that the defense name is Billy Bob Johns. So, well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, Your Honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a huge fan of his. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we call the defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. I guess, sure. I wonder if that is to our advantage. Miss Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix, right? Eh? That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. All right. It did not count. Do you hear me? She must still be upset about what happened last time. You have no chance. Zero. Zilt. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose anything. I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. M -m -m me Guilty? Uh, what are you talking about? It will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring her dad back. There. Opening statement complete. No, let's hurry and wrap up this waste of time. Very well. You may call your first witness, your first witness, Miss Karma. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up there now. Sorry to keep you from work, but I'm sure you'll need every penny you can earn, Detective. Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Very well. I would like to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. All right, Detective. You may proceed with your testimony. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. All the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15. I got the hiccups. I'm so sorry. The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. I hope forensics is done and we can find out what this wooden box is. The cause of death was a blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck? What? I see. He was beaten to death. Here is the autopsy report for the victim. 
The court accept this into evidence. Do we have the murder weapon yet? Very well, Mr. Wright. You begin your cross-examination. It's weird, it's not clicking. All right, press. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal, maybe about an inch and a half on the ground. The snow froze in place and snayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm, the snow, let's see. There's got to be more to this. Eh, what's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the court record. What were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? All of the circus performers were gathered in the big top, practicing their routines. Hmm. When you say all, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and staff were there. Regina the animal tamer, Mo the clown, Ben the ventriloquist, and of course, the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. I had a curiosity, what about the circus monkey? When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with Regent, while Mo went back to his room tired from work. Ben the ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world, and Regina, or excuse me, and Ringmaster and Max went off to the Ringmaster's room to talk privately. That's awful suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? It seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. The murder itself took place in the plaza. I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15. Um, not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us the whole thing went down. Ow. This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm. <laughs> we'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Can we have that wooden box? That's right. He must have been carrying with carrying it when he was killed. It was rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked, not to mention it was locked. I want to open it so bad. <laughs> this may be my only chance. Might as well ask some questions. Ask. Ooh, can I ask about everything? Do you mind telling us what was inside the box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. It was a little bottle. What is that? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle? What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper. Why in the world was it locked in the big box? There was only one little bottle in the huge box? I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. According to the autopsy, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it's something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, I'm... I bet he made it disappear with magic. Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe. 
And all we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper. Now we have wrapped up with the detective. I'd like to call my next witness. Eh, I'm not even off the sand yet. Obviously. But that's due to you being slow and able to take a hint. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Oh. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. Miss Von Karma, call on your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. Oh, I wonder if Trilo has shown up on the stand as well. Oh, no. Please state your name and occupation for the record. My full name is Triloquist. I am employed as an operatic tenor. E excuse me. The witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman. Ventriloquist. That road must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine. I'll grace you with a song. Ahem. May, 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 may. The world of law, exciting and daring, guilt or innocence. This type of a judge dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think? It had a good rhythm. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. Tr Trilo, you know better than to insult the judge. Shut up. Just look at your nose. You would think you'd have a sense to fix it. It's so ugly I want to punch you in the face on the, on the off chance swelling would help. You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star. Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their mind. What's going on here? Order, I demand to know who the witness is. Don't... Don't worry about me. I'll let Trilo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting a testimony. You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now, let's proceed. Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean, clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the palace's entrance. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the only one heading that way. How could that no punk not be the killer? That's when police showed up and took Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene? You're sure of that? Without a doubt, he out on his silk hat, his cloak, and that dumb white rose on his chest. How can he mistake someone that crazy get up and that's no stuck up so high? That that's enough. I think we all get the picture. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. Well, since you weren't with him. Couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. Why is that? Here's absolute proof. A silk hat. This is what was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Ah. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was a the murderer, there'd be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Hmm. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Your prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. Rest my case. And thank you for stating the obvious, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What do you have to say? Okay, I guess she's the boss again to 